CLT is timber panel which is formed from cross-layered or layers of perpendicular placed timber planks. Planks about 25 mil thick by about 75 mil wide, laid out, sprayed with an adhesive, PVA-based, water-based adhesive, and then the panels are pressed in great big presses. They come out the press about 16 meters by three and a half meters wide, and are built up of three layers, five layers, seven layers of timber. We use CLT in our buildings for the walls, for the floors, for the lift shafts, stair cores, everything. Um, we're building up to 10 stories at the moment in CLT, but there's no reason why that shouldn't rise to 15, 20 stories in the very near future. The wonderful thing about working with this material is that the walls act as beams, because they carry the force along the length of the wall, so the wall you can use as a beam. So how that begins to inform the architecture of the buildings is, is uh, really exciting. Timber is completely predictable, so we know that European spruce burns at 0.76 millimetres a minute and so we're able to build up the layers in order to, to provide a fire protection. In addition to that, the material itself chars, so you know if you have a big lump of wood, actually when you burn that lump of wood, the timber itself chars around the edge of surface. So unlike a timber frame building, a solid timber panel building has a much greater mass and so much greater strength under fire. Modern CLT was invented in Austria at Graz University by Professor Schickhofer, um, who's a fantastic guy. We were the first practice in the UK to use CLT in 2003. Uh, we built a little three-storey building out of CLT. In 2008, we built Murray Grove, which was a nine-storey building in CLT, which has been a very exciting project, very instrumental, I think, in popularising the use of the material. And now I understand there are over 400 CLT buildings built in the UK. We built Murray Grove nine stories in 27 days. Four guys, cordless screwdrivers, no grinders, no cement mixers, no drills, just cordless screwdrivers. 10% of the deliveries that you would have from a concrete building, so quiet, fast and efficient. We built the whole building from demolition to first people moving in in 11 months. Programming works very well for us, so by the time we've got concrete coming on site for foundations and for ground floor, we're panelising those CLT drawings, so turning the, the engineer drawings the, into panel drawings, working with the manufacturer who's got the tender, and working with them to produce the panel drawings, so that once the concrete's finished, the panels arrive on site. Now this process is generally about 10 to 12 weeks. We have a wealth of knowledge about CLT in this country. I mean, bizarrely, for a country that doesn't yet manufacture its own CLT, we are really innovating the use of this material throughout the world and leading that innovation from, the, from a, a global perspective, which is very exciting. So practices like our own, uh, DRMM, uh, KCA, other practices, really looking at innovating this material. The primary limitations to the material at the moment really are a conservative construction industry. In terms of building regulations, in terms of uh, compliance, we don't have an issue. We are building ever taller and haven't yet had a problem. So we are, you know, a problem in terms of actually, you know, reaching an engineering kind of uh, dead end. So. It really is, it's, an, you know, it's, a, it's a time of, of great innovation, of great excitement in the CLT world, <laughs> which is, it does exist. I mean, um, we have uh, <laughs> architects and engineers all over the world that we work with, which is really exciting. But at the moment in the UK, you know, there really is no limit to what we can do.